Hey my friends, welcome back. Yeah, as you can see in this video today, we're gonna paint a large landscape painting here. And the trick about this one here is that I did it with acrylics. You might wonder now, how is this guy all of a sudden starting to paint with acrylics? And the reason for this is I was asked by Final Low to review their products and to yeah test those products and do a painting with these acrylics that they sent me. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna do today. I will show you how I painted this one with the critics. But first of all, the introduction video of Unlow. The unusual color in your heart. The inspiration in your dream. Finalo sent me yeah, quite a huge package full of goodies to paint and draw. You can see here we have those acrylics as well as some oil pastels. As you can see here, nice package. But we yeah, mainly will focus on the acrylics and just yeah, to test it. Finalo sent me a nice little tubes, beginner paintings, then this pouring acrylics here. And these bigger pots and I, yeah. Tried them all, more or less, starting with the little tubes here. And as you can see, the, the consistency is pretty nice. Certain thickness, but not too, too thick. The color mixing process was pretty easy. No bad surprises in any form. Um, I start to paint the first layer, the underpainting. And when you're quick enough, you can basically, yeah, use the acrylics kind of like like oils. They can be used to blend pretty quick when you do it in a very quick way. And yeah, colors pretty, yeah, are pretty nice covering the white of the canvas. And I'm testing the pouring acrylics. I mean, it's obvious they were thin, pretty thin. They are for pouring, not for painting, more or less, but you can still use them for the underpainting, no problem, as you can see here. Very fluid, very pleasant to, to work with, and you know, I'm using the bigger pots of those uh, acrylics here. And these were the colors of choice that I did, that I used for the, the whole painting. A nice consistency, pretty easy to, to mix and blend those colors, and they I have to really say that they have a very pleasant smell. It's unusual because my own acrylics that I used back then um, smelled a bit, they were a bit smelly. They didn't smell that well. It's something minor, I know, but yeah, it's, it's nice to have colors that, that don't stink, you know, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, here you see me now basically um, yeah, adding the second layer of color to the first layer, the underpainting. And acrylics require a different approach to painting. You basically have to layer and dry brush blend, kind of. And that's what I did here. I put the second layer on and now I yeah, put on the third layer or the detail la layer in some parts of the painting. Yeah, The advantage of acrylics is basically that they dry pretty quick. So you can really layer on top in a very easy way and those colors here behaved pretty well. Uh, they were able to cover, as you can see here now, pretty well. They were easy to dry brush blend, as you can see here now. You basically achieve a very blended, very yeah, good um, way of the color uh, looking on the canvas because uh, 
they dry pretty quick acrylics but these colors really allowed me to yeah blend and with this dry brush blending technique um, you yeah, can really achieve a very nice effect and yeah some details on those mountains here basically yeah you can see i'm using the first layer of color to yeah as kind of a base layer and adjust some darker parts over it and then some lighter parts lighter colors to add some even some more details here and there and it was all no problem the colors lasted on the palette very long they did not dry that quick on the palette so i did not have to um, spray them with some water that's what i had to do in my early days when i started to paint with acrylics they really yeah, hold up the whole painting session very nice very stable and yeah they, they had a very nice consistency i mean i paint very thick usually get a nice coverage and yeah this the color really worked perfect for this kind of application but i also did some yeah glazing action here and there doing some thin layers over the top and this also worked really nice yeah no no problem at all getting in those colors just the way i wanted to have them you can blend them when you're quick you can yeah, layer on top you can mix the colors and they don't behave bad in any way they are yeah, really yeah really high quality colors As you can see here now i'm yeah reworking the greens now you see i'm using this layering technique this kind of glazing in some places here some areas are a bit thicker some are a bit thinned down but this worked really nice and yeah, I really enjoyed the process of yeah, being able to put so many layers of color over each other. With the oils that I'm using usually it's, it, it takes forever to yeah, be able to continue working but yeah, it was a, a really refreshing change in this case here to, to, to really yeah, get something nice on the canvas in a very quick and yeah, efficient way more or less. Yeah, some glazing, some finger action to thin down the color even a bit more. Yeah, it came out really, really nice and really quick in a very efficient way. And yeah, that's a finished painting, and I'm yeah, yeah, pretty happy about it. So now that you've seen me finishing this painting here, I guess you already know what I have to say about those colors here. Can I recommend them? Yes, I really can. Highly recommend those colors here. They fulfilled their tasks really, really well. You could dry brush, you could glaze, you could blend. Um, I would really go so far to say that those are yeah, some of the best acrylics that I ever used before. And therefore, highly recommend it. You will find the link to those colors down in the description box, somewhere down below here. And yeah, if you really uh, like to get some new acrylics or yeah, run out of your old ones, then Give them a try really they are really worth it and as you can see really nice results therefore go for it <laughs>